What is up you guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video today is gonna be part two of the E34 540 build We are finally gonna get rid of This bouncing issue that this damn car has been having and try to get rid of that wheel gap because we got all brand new suspension for this car Which is all in this box and that box right there. So we got brand new coilovers from Max Speeding Rods. And we got all brand new lower control arms, sway bar end links, all kinds of cool stuff for this car. We got Armand over there not doing anything. Yeah, fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're finally going to get this car dialed in suspension wise. And hopefully getting it riding right because... Alright, let's, let's show these people what happens with this car when we drive it. Let it go. This is what happens. <laughs> it just bounces all over the place whenever we drive this thing. So all that suspension is going to get that fixed up. So yeah, first we're going to start by taking apart the entire front end and work on the front end. Work on getting like the coilovers and suspension on for just the front. And then we'll start working on the rear after we're done with the front. Let's get this thing jacked up in the air and then get to work on it. All right, so we went ahead and got the car jacked up in the air and on some jack stands. Now what I gotta do is basically rip apart this entire suspension. We also got new brake pads for it too, so we gotta change those as well, but I gotta basically take off all these arms that you see around here. So with these original shocks and struts. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do next. Alright guys, as you can tell, we got all the suspension off. We literally tore down everything in the front end. But yeah, this is the old suspension right here. Everything is just like tore up. You guys can't really tell on video, but that you guys can tell. It's just really messed up. But this is all the new suspension that's going on today. So we got upper control arms. We got lower control arms. We got new tie rods. We got sway bar end links. And then these are the rear sway bar end links. and. I don't even know what this pushing is, but that's for the rear. But yeah, and then this is the brand new coilover set from Max Speeding Rods. That's looking really good. I've never done coilovers on this car, but it's a learning experience, right Arm? Yep. We're gonna learn today. We're gonna learn today. Yeah, we had already changed this. The one on the car is brand new anyway, so we're not gonna be putting that on either. But yeah, the rest of the stuff we're gonna be putting on. So we're gonna move forward. We gotta take these arms off this bracket right here and then move forward with putting the new arms on there. All right guys, we got all the new control arms and tie rods on. They're not tightened fully yet, but we just got them on just for now. Next, we're gonna work on getting these coilovers onto the car. So I just got the old springs off of these struts and I also took the shocks out because these new shocks just slide right into where the old ones are. And then Audemon also went ahead and degreased these and cleaned them up. They were really grimy before but it's looking really good now. Let me go ahead and show you guys the old shocks. So here's one of the old shocks. This is how bad it is. It's so bad that all the oil is like leaking like all around it. But look at this. If you can push it down with your hand like that and it doesn't come back up, that's how you know it's really bad. But yeah, those shocks were completely toast. Here's all the old suspension bits and crap. If you guys noticed, I actually cut the brake shield off because it was just getting in the way and it was also loose 
and the driver's side was already off so that's not that important anyway so we just went ahead and cut that shit off of there we didn't really need it but yeah my next step is to put together these coilovers so i have to put these new shocks into these old strut housings and i also have to throw the coilovers on here Car review, Chris, back at it again. He's gonna give us a review of these coilovers real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, these are two coilovers we have here. Uh huh. As you can see. Are you sure there's two of them though? There's two of them here, yeah. There's two of them for the front, and you're gonna lower the car about an inch and a half today. Okay. And let's get going. Well, there you have it, folks. I don't even have to explain it. We got the coilovers all ready, and car review, Chris, gave us a review of them. So let's throw them back into the car. Alright guys, suspension is finally done. Everything is on there and looking good. So right now it's at the lowest setting. So hopefully when we drop it, it's gonna be low. I just gotta clean up these tools real quick and then throw the wheels on and then drop the car on the ground and see how it sits. I went ahead and threw the wheels back on and lowered it. And the front is way lower than before. So it's a lot better. And it still has to settle in another like quarter inch to half an inch. I think the ride height is going to be perfect once it's done. Armand's going to take it out for a test drive right now. Just see how the steering and stuff feels. Because before it was like really loose. And it will just like vibrate all over the place. So hopefully everything is good. He's gonna go ahead and back it in right now so we can get started on the rear suspension. As you can tell, we got the old struts and shocks off, so now we just gotta put these top hats onto the new ones, and then we'll be good to throw them back onto the car. Brand new coilovers are on and also the bushings and stuff like that are all on too so everything's good to go on the rear right now we just set it at a random height and then later on we will adjust it to like our desired height once we get the wheels and stuff like that Armand just has to put together this like rear shelf panel and then this rear seat and we should be good to go because you actually have to remove this in order to get to the bolts for the shock so while he does that I'm gonna go ahead and throw the wheels back on and then lower the car Just like that, we are completely done with the suspension and coilover install. The ride height is pretty good. I set a random ride height in the back, but I think it's sitting pretty damn good. The front just needs to go a little bit lower maybe, but we will adjust everything once the new wheels are here with the tires on. You guys will probably see that in a later video. But for now, I think this is really good. All right guys, that is gonna bring us to the end of this video. We finally got all the suspension done on this car. In the next video, we'll probably start on the bodywork and getting it ready for paint and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that video. Without further ado, thank you guys for watching. 
Make sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe button. Peace and we'll, out. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.